Hey, welcome to the live stream again to another episode of the Psychic Role Playing Game. Where I role play as different people and I, I quote what they say and I quote things that I see them say psychically and, and things that I hear them say psychically. And it's a role play. And so, so it's best to regard most of these things as fiction until they come true. <laughs> Or, or if they are true already. And so that's, that's the cool thing about it's psychic powers, is a display of psychic powers uh, with a little bit of role play to make it fun. And uh, yeah, it just, just uh, it takes off the, I don't have to invade, inv inv invade their private life. So I, I, I don't have to say that this is, ex this is definitely what they did, but it could be something that, you know, it could be on the horizon. Like, you know, so, psychically. So uh, anyway, so... We have uh, some guests today that we'll be like role playing as. Uh, I'll be as usual as the host. I'll be playing as Sabrina, the psychic Pokemon gym leader, and uh, yeah, and uh, you know she has psychic powers. A lot of people know her in the past. That's a psychic gym leader for Pokemon. Uh, yeah, and Sabrina sounds like a psychic's name. Like, like over the years, like I, I think so at least. <laughs> okay, so today's guest is Andrew Garfield. Hey, hello, <laughs> and and I asked around, like I asked around either now or in the future, for like who should be the guest today. And Andrew Garfield kind of like half volunteered for no Andrew Gar. I saw Andrew Garfield half volunteer, you know, to be on to be psychically connected to this, um live stream uh, but whether it's him or not or possibly a potential in the future time will tell okay so 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 i see this and i'm quoting him i'm quoting what i see him do in the future or now and he's like hey everybody it's me andrew friendly neighborhood andrew man <laughs> Yeah, then, okay, hello, hello, Mr. Garfield. Um, oh, uh, do you want to go over what, what we did there? I was like, yeah, yeah, go over it. A lot of people will be really, really excited that it's, that it's being public, like, it's, it's public, public information now. Okay. Well, okay, a few months back, or, yeah, several months back, there was, like, uh, I saw in the future, or saw somewhere... Eventually, um, Andrew Garfield would have uh, a bunch of new contracts and agreements, like uh, like a new set of contracts that he is much more agreeable to him. Like maybe in the past when doing some of the movies and some of the publicity and some of the recruiting and talent search and stuff like that and the auditions and stuff, to get his foot in the door, he might have had to sign contracts, make oaths to like things that you know might have ended up hurting him. Or giving him more liability. And so we, we took care of it a few months ago. Like like kind of in a, uh, in a kind of way. And, and, and just in case, just in case it didn't quite happen fully yet. We're going to talk about it today. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm just going to say something psychically. Or uh, as a prophesier. And when I, when I say it, it has more power. But I've already said it. So... So most likely it already happened, but for for sake of like public knowledge or for the sake of like for Andrew's sake, uh, I just want to say it like for real this time around. It has is recorded on a physical device, and and it's very simplified. Okay, so so we went over. I basically said, "Thus saith the Lord," thus says the Holy Spirit, Andrew. Go through all your contracts, bring them out. And any contract that has hurt you or is hurtful to you, uh, from here henceforth, it is nullified. You can, you can burn the contract or consider it null and void. Thus says the Holy Spirit. Thus saith the Lord. Thus says the Holy Spirit. And uh, it, whether or not you actually burn the contract or void the contract or anything like that, like it's up to you. It's up to you, but on my side, it's considered void now. 
And some of the usual punishments may like won't happen like supernaturally. Like I was just like the, the eerie eerie pattern that some people go through when they when they breach a contract. You will not be hit by those weird ass uh, you know coinc yeah you know, just weird ass stuff. Like uh, whether they're called curses or not, but like yeah, you won't be hit by any of the, any bad stuff. And so that's for any contract that is disagreeable to you, like that you don't like, that has hurt you or it put you gave you too much liability. Um, you can you can you all of those contracts are null and void. Um, and 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 you have permission. Well, yeah, you know, yeah. And and another thing too, while we're on this note, I I want to address something that um I I've seen I've seen. So uh. Not only for Andrew, but I also say in the name of Jesus, I say for all of the others who are in the Illuminati or work with the Illuminati or who are Freemasons or work with the Freemasons, um, I... You know, God bless you, God bless you, not too iniquitously, not too iniquitously. And from here henceforth, all the bad curses and all the bad terms and all the bad agreements, contracts, oaths that you have made that are hurtful to you or too hurtful to you are null and void, except in the cases where it causes too much damage so unless if voiding the contracts and oaths cause too much damage and disorder it's not completely void yet but in terms of the ones that are most hurtful and are unproductive hurtful and unproductive oaths curses agreements contracts they're all null and void if you need them to be null and void if so basically for andrew and for all the others if you need them to be null and void because it, hurt, it hurts too much, um, they are null and void. At least on my side, as a psychic, seeing the, the lay of the land and, and, and having relationships with many, many people from up higher, uh, on our side, it is null and void. Thus says the Lord, thus saith Yehovah, uh, thus saith Yehovah, thus saith the Lord, thus says the Holy Spirit. From here henceforth, indefinite. Like, oh no, from here henceforth, forever always. And so that's a that's a clean slate. It's just back to square one, how how it was like before it all started. Now that's just for the ones that are productive and orderly. There are some things, there are some like agreements that obviously it helps with like workflow, cash flow, and other stuff, other stuff that you know you don't it's, it's not quite a liability. I'm not talking about like uh, those things can still have weight. And can still have influence. That's that's still fine. That's still fine. And so, yeah, just just basically, it's a blessing. This is meant to bless everyone in those organizations, everyone uh, in the industry, everyone in the order, uh, all my enemies. I love you because I'm I'm commanded to love my enemies. It's just a, a brand new slate. I would have wanted someone to you know help me out with that. Back in the day, and and and, and I, I recently was approached by someone from like the Illuminati Brotherhood. This is how they called themselves. Um, but like you know, after in, in, after interacting, it wasn't quite my cup of tea. But I I did learn a lot. I did learn a lot about like the various oaths and contracts and liabilities that that that, that people take on when entering some of those organizations, so that order can be kept. It's not so much like. You know, just trapping them. It, 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 initially, it was it had so it had like a semi pure intent that it's meant to keep order. Like, do this, or a bad consequence will happen. And don't you know? Don't do these things, or a bad consequence will happen. And the bad consequence keeps them from like going out of order. It keeps them from everyone you know single file line, or everyone just doing what they do best. But just don't deviate from it too much. And so I understood that those, some parts of that, that feeling was in the industry. So I, I just wanted to free everyone from that. But not too much. Not too much. 
So yeah, I, I hope that after if, if you hear this audio, um, uh, I hope it blesses you. I hope it blesses you. This is my this is the official public like I I did it, I I issued some of these uh freeing kind of blessings on my TikTok already way back a few months back and some people heard it the first time around. So this is gonna be on my YouTube and it's officially you know on my psychic and, or prophesying channel. And so uh yeah. Yeah. And then, so, ha, Andrew, is it all to your liking, Mr. Garfield? And he, okay, he doesn't say anything, but he nods, is what I saw. Okay, anything else? You want to tell your old, you want to tell your past self from the future? Anything? You want, you want to give yourself a shout out? Um... Oh, yeah. <laughs> here's a mysterious one. But I think mysteries work better with uh, time travel. So, so if it's mysterious and you're time traveling, it doesn't break time usually. Yeah, you'll understand the mystery uh, until you know when it's later. But okay, so you have something for yourself? Yeah, yeah, I have something for myself. Okay, okay, okay. Me and Emma Stone, and uh, so so I could be. If Emma Stone was a, it was one of these two girls, like if she was Harley Quinn from the animated series Batman, if she, if she was Harley Quinn or if she was Supergirl, which one should you choose? And I'll, I'll, I want to help you, help my past self, you know, to choose the right answer now and not later. Go with Supergirl. Don't go with Harley Quinn. <laughs> You know, if both of them, you know, if you look at them and the 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 shape of their face and their black lipstick, it, it really kind of kind of and their eyeliner too, it, it almost looks like Emma Emma, Emma Stone, but uh, like cosplaying or something like that. So they see the Supergirl from the animated series Justice League, or uh, uh, Harley Quinn from the animated series Batman. So it's one of these two girls, like, like which one, which one, which one would, do you want? And he said, and I said, just, just tip to myself, go with Supergirl, not Harley Quinn. <laughs> I don't know if you know those cartoons, but like, you, you should, you, you know, just look at it, look at it, like anime and just, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. That's a tip to yourself. Yeah, go with Supergirl, not Harley Quinn. <laughs> all right, all right. Anything else? I'm fine. I'm fine for now. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Andrew Garfield, for starring, you know, being the opener to this. And uh, I think everyone from the, uh, from the, from the industry will be, will, will owe you a, a certain amount of gratitude for like, uh, hopping on and, you know, yeah, we, we talked about a bunch of stuff in the background and, uh, Andrew, Andrew Garfield has a big heart. He has a big heart. Like he has a, he has a big Spider-Man heart. So, um, that, that's great news. That's great news. Okay. Okay. Let's see who else wants to come to the floor. I'm going to, I'm going to issue a little shout out into the future. See who else wants to, wants to come onto the stream. Lady Gaga. Uh, is that really you? Okay. Okay. Um, all right, all right. Uh, what, what would you like to say on the stream? Like, you want to introduce yourself, or? And she's like, and most people know me already. She says, okay, okay. So, so what would you like? What, how can I help you today? And she's like, I want to give a shout out to myself, like something mysterious, kind of like a riddle. And uh, if I ever do get to hear this. I, I just want to, you know, just everyone's testing to see how, how this works. And, okay. So I did the exercise of, like, how, how tall do you think Lucifer is? And you said it was, like, a fa and so. Like, so, fa, so, la, ti, do. Yeah, yeah. Like, and, he's, and she's like, I, I'm thinking from what I studied... And in and, and, and my personal time, it's actually a little short. 
He's kind of short. Is, is that true? Yes. You did your homework. You did your homework. You might have seen him too. <laughs> and she's like, I haven't seen. I don't think I saw him directly. Or maybe like if he if he if he, if, he, if Lucifer can like shape shift, or like do an illusion. I, I don't know if I actually saw him in person. Like his his like before fallen or just like like his rumored angel self. Because it says that he's he he was. So, he says he it says in in some texts like he's beautiful like he's beautiful to look at like like it, 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 like he's covered with jewels or just some kind of you know I mean maybe if he's wearing something and and, and she's like yeah but like uh, he he's short and he's he's a little shorter right he's not like he's not like Michael Jordan or anything but yeah yeah he's a little shorter. <laughs> How did, uh, actually, if you really want to think about it, he wears his hair like Harry Potter. Like, not, not Harry Potter from the later movie. It was like Harry Potter from the very first movie. When he, his, the way he wears his hair is like a comet. Like, just think of his hair coming out to the side and like it's tapered, it's tapered down behind the back of his head. And, and it kind of like tapers in. And if you if you were to you know if you were to throw him across the air like if you were to pick him by his waist and literally chuck him a, across the air, uh, his his hair looks like a comet. And and, he, and he's, he's he's referred to by some as son of the morning or the morning star. But here's here's something interesting. Here's something interesting. In ancient lore, the morning star could be one of three. It could be like the sun that comes up in the morning, like that morning star, the one that caught the, the, the sun is the, the cause of the morning. So like it could be the sun or it could be Venus or Mars on most nights on, on, on some nights. So it's either Venus, Mars or the sun. And so, so this idea of like the morning star, there, there could be three people who have first dibs on, on, on like the term morning star. And, uh, yeah. So he's more like, uh, tied with Mars or something like that. <laughs> and, and so, so yeah, yeah, yeah. And he, you know, angelic stuff that applies to all the angels applies to Lucifer too. Um, yeah. And, and she's like, I want to tell myself something. Okay, go for it. Hey, uh, past self, note to self. Uh, when you, when you see Lucifer, he, his face is so beautiful, you, you, you actually almost think he could be a girl. You almost mistook him for a girl initially. But that's how beautiful his face is. And uh, if, 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 you, if you look at his, like, uh, maybe it was a, it was a little confusing because he had, like, a, a, a breastplate. Or, like, some, uh, like, like a little, co like, chest uh, ornament. And it might have obscured your kind of, like, looking at his anatomy. But, like, when you see him for the first time... He might look so beautiful, you're like, oh, I'm, oh, last time I checked, Lucifer was a guy. But then you're like, oh, oh, he is a guy. <laughs> he's like, it's, it's the weirdest thing. He's like one of the, he's like, it's be, like the only thing in this world that like kind of tries to show you like what, what that kind of look kind of looks like. Some K-pop stars, like Korean pop stars, look kind of like that kind of look, like the angelic kind of. Yeah, just as you couldn't tell if they're like a guy or a girl, like as beautiful as like, some of them are beautiful. You know, with with, the, with when they're all like uh, you know, specked out in their like makeup and like, you know, just just you know, physique and clothes. And so it's almost like a K-pop star kind of feel, but like 
he 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 has class. He has class. Like like when you realize he's a guy, you look at his things. It, it really looks like like guy ornaments and stuff like that. But like if you think he's a girl, you would think that it's like girl ornaments. But he actually has enough class to like. It, it's not too confusing. But he'll he'll let you guess like to you know to your error if, if you know just he's more of like the. I think like. Hmm. I've been around Lucifer for several times, and the feeling I get from him is he does not like to waste time if you've already given your answer. And, and some people give their answer by not giving their answer. And so for people, like, there are, some, there are few people who, who can stomach, like, Lucifer being next to them. And most Christians can't stomach that. Like if Lucifer's nearby, they're like, you know, oh, they they start doing like weird weird praying in tongues, like chanting praying in tongues, and then they start like, yeah, just just just, try, just like, yeah, I rebuke you, Lucifer. <laughs> just, just all all this all this kind of stuff. But anyway, anyway, yeah, yeah, I've seen Lucifer. I see visions. My visions like span. I see like things like in in this world, and I've asked about Lucifer too. So yeah. I, oh, oh uh, news update, news update. Like, this is just for the people on the right. I know this sounds a little bit leftish, but I've checked it with my with, with my scriptures and um, also with miracles and, you know, just supernatural acid checks, like like acid tests that are that are biblical, that are that are biblical. Because like, you know, as a psychic, I want to aim for the best. And in my scanning of people's minds, once I started to see what people were thinking about in near-death experiences, uh, and, and how they saw Jesus, um, that was a big one for me. It, it's corroborated data. And once I started scanning and like you know reading people's minds of what they really thought, I started learning things pretty quick, pretty quick. So, so, I, so I delved into near-death experience Christians, and I scanned what they, I scanned what they said and, and, and thought. Colin Burpo was a big one. Uh, Randy Kay is another one. Um, and, then, and then I got a hold of like nderf.org, near-death experience research foundation. And, and yeah, it's nderf.org. If you're really curious, that's the red pill. If you want, or if you want the biggest red pill of your life, that's the red pill. If you go, if you go to that website, your life will either be totally the same or forever changed, one or the other. Um. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. But like I, I've seen Lucifer. I've asked about Lucifer. And the reason why I talk about it so much is uh, I've seen and I've been around them. They have repented. When Satan came out of the thousand years, he works for God. He's the workman of God. He is like that ancient destroying angel of lore in the in in in, in, in the time of the in the time of the Pharaoh and Moses. He is that ancient destroying angel. And and yeah, so that's Satan. But Lucifer is different. So Satan is the Satan is the devil. Lucifer is the fallen angel. They're they're two different people. But like ha, but, but but they used to be the same person. That that's a big thing. That's a that, that's a weird thing that I, I like few people think few few people think about. But it wasn't until like some somewhere in those a thousand years. That Satan and Lucifer became their own different beings. Lucifer became the beautiful one, and Satan became like the hooded, kinda kind of mysterious, dark, dark, it's still beautiful, but like dark, you know, dark representative um, for God. And so Lucifer's, yeah, you know, Lucifer is like uh but consider them, the, their relationship with each other and how they look like compared to each other. They're like twins. They're like identical twins. Uh, Lu, uh, Satan wears his hair more like a lion. Like, like Rick and Morty. Like, like his hair. It's like, it's like uh, Rick, Rick, Rick Sanchez's hair. Like just kind of flared out. But uh, not, as, uh, yeah, not as stringy. 
It's very beautiful, like, like you know, bursting out kind of hairstyle. He wears his hair like that. So it's like, it's like Lucifer. He, his face looks like Lucifer. But, like, uh, his hair is, like, flared out, like, usually. Uh, and Lucifer wears his hair kind of down. Like, a shooting... One looks like a standing star. Lucifer's looks like a shooting star. But kind of like... Yeah, you have to tilt him, like, diagonal down, though. Yeah, you know, he looks like a comet. So, yeah. That's the... That, that's, that, that's, that's what I can say about them. But, yeah, they, they, they have repented, you know, for a long time now. I saw where they repent, and then, you know, this, this is another thing. Some, some Christians say that that's impossible. That, that's not biblical, actually. Like, y'all, I, I, that's, y'all are less biblical than I am. I, I can say that pretty confidently. If you want to challenge me, challenge that, you know, comment below. Comment, and, and, and I'll, 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 I'll address the comments one by one. But like, uh, but seriously, seriously, I, 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 it, it, I do have a convincing argument, and it's not just an argument for me. I, I've confirmed it, and uh, so yeah. Um, uh, but long story short, my answer, my explanation to why they have repented and how that's possible, uh, research the sign of Jonah in the end times, the sign of Jonah talked about by Jesus in the end times. None shall be given them except for the sign of Jonah. And that explains how God can change his mind concerning some things in Revelation. Because the, the prophecy in Revelation, yeah, it's, it was spoken. Yeah, it was written down. But so, so was Nineveh's destruction. It was spoken. It was written down. But hey, they lived. All, all that's needed is like sackcloth, ashes, and, and repentance. Like, you know, stuff like that. And, and, and Lucifer knows how to do that. Satan knows how to do that. Uh, Lilith, uh, her, her, her Bible name, her Bible tag is uh, Legion. Legion knows how to do that too. They've all repented by now. So, so, so what are y'all, what, what are some Christians doing when they cast out demons and when they, you know, you know rebuke the devil? Uh, some of y'all are, are starting to waste your time now. It, it, there's, there's a new way. That's why Jesus says, do not rejoice. That you have power over these spirits. But you know, God, the Father of all spirits, has adopted them, has bring, brought them into a sheepfold. And so and so like right now, if you're casting out demons, if you're rebuking the devil, that's like outdated, outdated data. Uh, rather than rebuke the devil, resist the devil. That's like that's like the new that's like the new deliverance. Like the new de the old deliverance was forcibly forced them out, no matter how hypocritical you yourself are. That worked for a time and a season because it needed to work like that for a time and season. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to get here, like like to a degree. But now the season is over. Like they have repented. Um, they're 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 starting to turn over a new leaf. They're doing exercises to redeem the time that they wasted and then and to make amends. An atonement for like the, the people that they've wronged. But over the new deliverance, if you still want to be in deliverance, the new deliverance is resisting the devil. It'll take care of whatever loose ends you have against the devil, around the devil, or something like that. It, just resist the devil and he will flee. Like, you know, just, just things like that. In like, if I were to, if I were to paint like a, like a, like like a boy meets world story for like, uh, yeah, you know, yeah, you know, like for the devil and 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 Lucifer, it's like, it's like, it's like you know, resist the devil and he will flee, but 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 but, but no more casting him out. Like he 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 you know, he's he's back from he's back from the prodigal son, prodigal son days. He's back from there. Behold, you're, he has lived. <laughs> he he was dead, but now he's alive. Behold, he's here. Uh, older older brother is here. And he's here to stay. So, so move, move, move your, you move, move, move your bed out of the room. You're gonna get the bigger bed. He's he's gonna get your room. What? Well, I don't want. I don't want him to get my room. But no, you get the bigger bed now. <laughs> and he's here to stay. So just get used to it. Just get used to it. <laughs> he will flee out of your room and into his. But he's here in the household of God. He's here to stay. Yeah. <laughs>
it's it's pretty funny. We got like 10 minutes before we reach the 40 minute mark. Anyone else want to come to the floor? Uh, no hostility. Uh, if you want to ask a question, you know, wipe your face, uh, wash your wash your face. We'll take a shower, cool down a little bit, and ask your question without hostility. Because I usually confront hostility pretty badly, pretty 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 intensely. If you are hostile, you know, I will sound hostile. So 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 when you ask your question, like uh, just do me a favor. Um, if you if you if you ask your question. Make sure you ask it on a cooled off day. You're just eating sushi or poke at home. And <laughs> right, Andrew? <laughs> right, Emma Stone? <laughs> You're just eating sushi or poke at home from like the best, best, best deli <laughs> in town. You just make sure you're in a great mood, then ask the question. Even if the question's a pessimistic question, wait till you're in a good mood to ask it. Please, please do me a favor and, and, and wait wait for that. But like, you know, so, so that's, that's just a personal, personal request. Okay, okay, so, so anyone who wants the floor. Okay, so, so I'm not gonna aim towards the future. I'm gonna aim towards the now. Like anyone now want to talk? Like, like you can talk and if you talk, I will hear you. Uh, relatively, I'll hear like a, a paraphrase of it or I'll hear the spirit of it, like, like I, I can't describe exactly how I know I know I hear it, but yeah, you know, anyone anyone out there right now who hears this, or or all or anyone in the future who who is hearing this audio recording, we can do this too. I I could I could see the future that way. All of you who will hear this audio recording in the future, any of you want to say anything? Any you want to ask me any questions? I'll, I'll, I'm open for quest for questions. Can I just say something to myself? Yeah, you can say something to yourself. Okay, okay. Hello. Uh, I'll, I'll say one name. Abner uh, or Abigail. Abner or Abigail. And, 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 then, and, then, and then after these two names, I'm gonna say something else. Um, February 1979 and, and now I'm gonna say one, one more thing and it's gonna it's gonna be the end of my end of my end of my I'm, I'm signaling to someone uh, and then after that I think I or you need some tender loving care or tender loving Maybe not so much care, but tender loving. And and I, I recommend I recommend that you ask God uh, for a little bit more music in your life. And and if you're already skilled in music, I have a hunch that you would be very interested in the future for this new app or new 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 science. Um, uh, tool for music. It's a scientific tool for music. It's not AI. It's not AI. It is. It is still. It is a tool that that the gifted and skillful musicians uh, can 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 see and maybe have access to. But you'll if you like music at all, you'll really like it. It's called. It's temporary. Uh, name is a circle of fifth dimension. It's a 3D circle of fifths. Like a tool. You know, you know how like the tool circle of fifths? There's, a, there's little like gimmicks and tools online and like on apps that like, you know, put the circle of fifths thing now. But okay, think of that. But 3D. And if you put this 3D contraption in a soundproof room or a sound treated room, like, like and you spin the little, spin in different ways. It's a circle of fifth dimension. It's like if the circle of fifths, you know, it, it's right. Well, it's one dimension, two dimensions, right? It's a two dimensional tool. It's it, what if you could spin it like, like, like kind of like in three dimensions, like, like just, just blow it up into three dimensions. And so, so circle of fifths dimensions. If it was like, if it was a sci-fi, if it was, if this was a sci-fi movie, 
it would be kind of like it's it's upgraded to the fourth and fifth dimension. And and it's a, it's a tool. It's a musical tool. That's like literally, li and so so that's why we call it circle of fifths dimensions. Tool. It it it, it it's pioneered by Lucifer. That's like his his baby. Like you know, like that that's his that is that's his dear baby. You know, like like, like baby tool. Like like just just just. It is his gene. It is the work of art. It is his genius all at the same time. It is gonna be. It's gonna be showcased later. But like, like it, it, it is, it is quite a sight to see and then quite a treat to hear. So yeah. And it's like, all right, that's that's for someone out there who's hearing the audio, and just uh, who will eventually hear the audio. Okay, who else? Who else? We got like three, four minutes left. Okay, okay, okay. Well, I'm just gonna do a quick, 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 quick. Uh, uh, Abra, use recover now. And we'll see how many people, you know, uh, I say in the name of Jesus. We'll see how many people feel that they have recovered with a little help from Abra. All right, all right. Uh, acute and chronic pain, leave now in the name of Jesus. And then and some people should feel like a little bit like some temperature changes in their body, a little bit of coolness. A little bit of wetness or a little bit of warmth and icy hotness anyway that, that, that's that's a teaser that's a teaser for what what more we have yeah yeah we're uh, I, i'm role playing a sabrina the psychic pokemon trainer and we can use recover <laughs> anyway anyway and moonlight too just to <laughs> um yeah so this is pretty hilarious yeah potions mm. Some people, some people might be against the word potion, but it's more like, it's more like a, a to, like, like it's some kind of first aid tool or first aid serum. That, that, that's, a, that's probably a more scientific way to say it. First aid serum, aerosolized. And, uh, yeah. Um, I'm just gonna put a placeholder here too. Like this, this is a great talk. Great talk for all the stuff. I'm gonna uh, let's see. Abra, go. Abra, use. Teleport now. I say in the name of Jesus. All right, all right. That 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 sounds mysterious, but we we're just gonna lay that mis mystery out there for everyone to hear. Uh, and we'll, we'll come back to this later. Like, like, a lot of people might come back to this later. All right, all right. Uh, well, I'm going to stop it earlier. Like, like, this, this, this is a nice stopping point. This is a nice stopping point. Um, if you have any other questions, feel free to comment anywhere below, like in any of my podcast channels, and especially on my YouTube. Like, like, if, you hear the, if you hear this, you know, comment. Comment below. We're going to come out with more content. Come, we're going to come out with more podcasts. This is my new line of work. So, so... So I'm starting to be more active, be more vocal. Uh, we're going to do more. We're going to do more like this. All right. All right. You all have a great day. Uh, thank you for making it fun. As always, stay safe. Sabrina, peace out.